everybody. My name is Greg Svetenko. I'm the Director of Partner POS Support for Restaurant here for Spot On in San Francisco. Uh, today, we're going to be going through and showing you a demo of our best-in-class, state-of-the-art POS. All right, so just getting started, just wanted to cover uh, what comes in a station or what comes in a bundle. Uh, you can see we have two different options as far as the color. We have the gunmetal black on the left. We also have the brilliant white on the right hand side. Uh, we also have two different size options. We have a 15 inch, also a 19 inch. Uh, along with that, we give you a cash drawer matching the color of the monitor. Uh, we provide you with an Epson thermal receipt printer. We also provide you with a Paxess 300 EMV chip reader uh, swiper enabled with Apple Pay and Android Pay. All right, now along with that first station or bundle, we also provide you with a Meraki router backup. Essentially what this is, it's a cellular data backup. It's a Z3C LTE model. So it's top of the line as far as what they make. Uh, our system is hardwired, it's cloud-based. Uh, we are browser-based, we run off Google Chrome and we have Amazon Web Services essentially storing all of our data in the cloud. So extremely reliable, extremely fast. Now, if by chance in your area, you suffer from poor connectivity with your internet, uh, our system will check itself about every half second. And so if your system senses that your uh, internet is down, the Meraki router takes over. So essentially you're live 24 seven. You're not taking the chance of trying to process a credit card offline because essentially what that is, it's offline. It has not been authorized. Uh, with other systems, uh, it stores your information for just a moment. Next thing you know, your guest is left. Uh, your system comes back up. You try and process that card and it comes back declined or unauthorized. And really what happens is you're stuck with the bill at that point. So with our system, extremely reliable, extremely fast, and you are connected 24 seven. All right, now this is a pretty expensive uh, piece of equipment. Uh, it's almost $1,000, but here at Spot On, we believe that it's investment in your restaurant, ensuring that you're live 24 seven. All right, so uh, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the front of the house. Um, as you would approach the monitor, uh, this is what you're gonna see, our nice uh, Spot On logo. So in order to get into the system, you hit anywhere around here, it's a touch screen. So that's going to take us to our clock in or our login mode or login screen. Uh, you can put in a three digit number, three, four, five, or six. You can change that anytime you want in the back of the house. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my three numbers in. So then it's going to take us to a nice administrator message. You can put whatever you want on here. If you had a happy hour that you're launching or a, a new wine list or even a, a new menu, a seasonal menu, uh, go ahead and put that in or even just somebody's happy birthday. All right, now according to the number that I put in, it's gonna go ahead and take me to a particular screen. Uh, each one of your servers, even your bartenders, they can pretty much decide exactly what screen uh, they wanna be prompted to go to. Now, for instance, uh, I am the manager or maybe a host or a server, uh, that's gonna take me to a table layout. All right, now down here, you can see we have several different options as far as the, the tables. Uh, if you just provide us with a drawing or a schematic of all the rooms that you potentially have, we're gonna go ahead and custom build these rooms for you. All right, so if I'm the bartender, maybe I wanna come to a main menu screen, something like this, all right, in order to start a tab. So let's go back to our table layout. And now these tables are actually interactive. So if I hold down for just one moment, I can associate a status with those tables. Uh, does it need busing, bottle service, uh, needs water, reserve, needs dessert, even check drop. Uh, these can all be color coded uh, for you as well. So just by looking at your tables or your stools, you know exactly what has to happen to that table. In order to start a tab, I just hold down just for one moment. Uh, table 101, it's going to prompt me to put a, a number of guests in. I think uh, this is the easiest way to start a check. Uh, that way, you know, you can just start ordering on each individual guest. So let's, for, uh, let's go ahead and put four people in. We'll accept. And now you can see on the left-hand side here, we have our check started. Table 101, four guests. All right, a couple different ways you can uh, order. You hit the guests, and then you say what they want. Come over here. They want OJ. Or you can hit the item, and it'll ask you where is it going. Sprite bottle. Uh, now you can also see we can order it just by hitting one button. We can order one for each guest. Uh, we can also hit one button, order one for the table. For the demo purpose, we'll just say guest four. And now on the left-hand side, you see this green light means that the order has not been fired. We also have on the left-hand side a quantity bar. 
making it real easy for you to get into and order maybe five sprites for guest four and guest two wants seven uh, milks. All right, now at this point, uh, a couple different ways you can send the order in. Uh, I can come down here and do a quick send uh, or I can, and it'll keep this check live so I can go right to my next uh, appetizers or entrees, or I can uh, send that order into the kitchen. It'll pop me out of my number so nobody can order on my number, or I can send it to the kitchen. It'll keep my number live. That way I can go right to my next guest. All right, so let me come down here and I'll just go ahead and quick send that to the kitchen. Now you can see the order's been fired. Now, three different access windows I kind of want to talk about. At the very top of the check, I just hit here, and it's going to open up a ticket command associated with the entire check. So again, things you want to do to the entire check. So if you wanted to add a percent gratuity, uh, value gratuity, if you wanted to do a discount on the entire check, if you wanted to, if you wanted to add a surcharge if it was legal in your state, if you want to change the guest count, uh, if you want to just cancel all changes, you can do auto coursing. So course one, course two, course three, and so forth. We can attach a credit card, and then that way at the end of the experience, we can go ahead and uh, apply a charge to that card. We could combine orders. We could move it to a different table. We could actually pre-authorize a credit card as well. We could even do scheduled orders or just transfer it to a different server. All right, we can also pull up order details so we know exactly when these items have been fired. So that's on the, on the entire check level. So the other window would be on an item level. So if I just hit over one of these items or actually multiple items, right? At this point, we can add a discount to that one particular item or multiple items. We can move it to a different guest. We could repeat it. Uh, I could set a price, all right? I could void it because it has been fired. I can also split it if I want. So let me just go ahead and show you. I'm going to repeat this. We'll go back in and say we want to move that to a different guest. Let's say we move it to guest two. Highlight that for one more moment. And now maybe we want to split this between guest oh, 02, 3, and 4. Go ahead and split it. Now we'll come back up here. Well, down here we have manage table. If I hit this for just one moment, I could very easily just navigate uh, within the check, moving things around very easily. All right, the other window, the other access window would be down here, our show commands window. All right, this is going to be things that you do maybe two or three times a day, depending on the day you're having. If you wanted to adjust a time clock, if you wanted to adjust tips, assign a cash drawer, batch credit cards, you could actually even pull up an 86 list for all the items you don't have in stock for the day. Print those up and give it to all your servers. That, they, that way they know exactly what's in house and what not to offer. Uh, we could do closeouts, uh, end of day history, end of day report. Uh, we could actually load a gift card or create a gift card. Uh, we could do paid in and paid outs of the drawer. We actually have an IT request support uh, tab right here. So if you have any issues uh, in the middle of your service, go ahead and put your description of your issue that you're having, your name, your phone number, and email. And uh, within uh, the average wait in the queue right now is about two minutes. So whether you're calling or you're emailing uh, with spot on, you're going to have uh, support to back you up. And that's important uh, with other systems. Uh, you know, you, you, you call up the POS and they say, hey, it's not our problem. I've been waiting 40 minutes. It's not our problem. Call your merchant service provider. The merchant service provider, another 20 minutes waiting online, and they tell me to call the POS company. So this cat and mouse game, you don't experience with spot on. 24-7 support, 365 days a year with people that are spot on employees. So down here at the very bottom, this is basically our home row. All right, now I can actually load this up with uh, many, many, many different buttons. I can pull from this window here and pull these and put them down here, uh, making it really easy for you to get into exactly what you wanna do. All right, let me go ahead and quick send that to the kitchen. Uh, let me show you a great feature here, for guess four. We do have an item search function on here. So, uh, you know, uh, labor turnover is huge in the restaurant business. And so say, you know, you got a server that doesn't necessarily know the layout of the POS, even though it's incredibly intuitive. Uh, so if somebody just, you know, hey, I want a piece of grilled chicken or a side of green chicken. All I have to do is put in a few letters here and it's gonna go ahead and search the entire POS. And now I can go ahead and zero in on what I want to order, the grilled chicken. We'll come down here and we've got our grilled chicken. And you could do that with a beer, you could do that with a different appetizer, you could do it with a bottle of wine. The system that we build for you is customizable. We literally are gonna build this system for you. 
uh, however you want it laid out. Uh, if you want to have, I have several different sub menus down here, as you can see, uh, I could have combined uh, menu items. Um, I have just uh, certain menu items by themselves. So really the way you want it laid out, uh, it's totally up to you. You don't have to have this many sub menus. Uh, you can have group menu items as well. So however you want it, you work with our menu build team and we're gonna build this to your specifications. All right, down here, you can see the screen scrolls up and scrolls down as well. So uh, the system is infinitely scalable. If you had, you know, 200 bottles of wine, we could have a $200 or 200 bottle of wine list right here. And it's all broken up into color. You could do it in varietals. Uh, and you also breaks it up from A to B to C to Z. All right, now also these buttons, these items are also interactive as well. So if we just hold down for one moment, it's going to open up a, a sub information screen. All right, at this point, you can load the POS, uh, POS up with as much as you choose. If you wanna put a brief description of the dish, lightly breaded with panko and finished with garlic zest, you can do an entire recipe, you can do allergies. You actually can even pull up a picture of the dish if you choose. Let's do like that. Now I'll go highlight one more time. We can also pull up nutritional facts. Uh, everybody wants to know about proteins and starches and carbs and sodium, you name it. Hold down for a minute. We can also 86 that button. You can see it just clattered out so nobody can order that. Hold down for a minute. We can make it available. Get back into it. And also from the floor on the terminal, we can actually edit this item. So say we're going to run out of calamari and we're going to change the dish a little bit. It's going to be uh, calamari and red sauce. And we're going to change the price to $31. Now down here, we'll change the quantity on hand. Let's make it just 18. We're gonna go ahead and save that. And now you can see how fast the system just updated. I don't have to reboot the system. I don't have to wait three to four minutes or even five minutes. All right, let me go ahead and get into ordering something a little bit more elaborate. Let's say for guest four, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you our force modifier screen. So I'm gonna order the bomb burger. All right, so here, this is the only screen you need to go to. All right, everything is here right for you. Um, now I can have as, as many sub modifier groups as you choose. I just have three to choose from here. So I have a minimum and max that I have set up. So it's going to require me to order uh, to pick a temperature. All right, now you can see that window just collapsed. Now down here, I'll just go ahead and add a, a few items here and some extras. And these can also be all color coded for you as well. And we don't want pickled onions. Now I don't have a minimum or max pick, so I'm going to go ahead and collapse that myself. And now that just collapsed. And now we're going to go ahead and pick a cheese. And now let's make sure that everybody knows that this is a VIP guest. So we want to make sure it's perfect. And we also have all these item notes that we can add to if we choose. You could have as many as you want. So let's say we want to do a VIP burger and it's going to be on the fly. Now down here, all the modifiers that we picked are all pulled up here. So essentially at this point, uh, we can modify the modifiers. So if we don't have a, a modifier button already made for a specific order, all we got to do is communicate through the POS. So for this lettuce, we want to make sure it's butter. And for the, uh, the mayo, let's make sure it's garlic. And also for the candy bacon, let's make sure it's crispy. And you can, you also notice, you see, uh, anytime I need to type or change a, a, a price or anything like that, you're going to have a keyboard that pops up that you don't need to have an external keyboard. Okay, so we have our pretty detailed burger ready to go. Let's go ahead and say yes. And now it's going to take us to our side dish. All right, it automatically comes with French fries, house law, no slide. Or we can do some upsells and have as many of these as you want as well. So we'll go ahead and get into sub broccolini. We'll say we're done. And now we've got our pretty intense, complicated order ready to go. But as fast as I move my fingers, I can get in that order and out of that order. All right, down here, let me just show you how we can uh, order a nice uh, cocktail. And let's go guess two. And so now we have a whole different subset of modifiers specific for drinks. All right, let's do a double with pineapple, a little bit of soda, and some lime. And now again, same functionality down here. If you want to zero in on some specifics, go ahead and do that. All right, we can also uh, open up our wine list here and say we wanted to get some information on a particular bottle of wine. Uh, I can put tasting notes in here. Uh, let me show you down here, we do have our table layouts. Well, let me go ahead and send those. We'll go to our list orders. So you can see this is the last order. Uh, we label it uh, or put it in order from newest to oldest, oldest to newest, A to Z, Z to A. 
All right, now you can see over here, we have our order source. We know exactly uh, all our orders coming in for the POS. This is everything I have live or open. Uh, we also have online ordering. Uh, online ordering is, is fantastic. Um, essentially how it works is uh, you pull up, uh, we build a widget, a widget on your website. Uh, we can actually build you a custom website, build a widget on that. You pull up our custom made menu, you place your order and it goes directly into the kitchen. Now you can see I have my open orders, my closed orders, even scheduled orders, and then my order types, carry out, delivery, dine in. And then as far as who is the owner of those checks, uh, if I'm the manager and I have permission, I can see all my orders right here. All right, um, what I love about this is you get to the end of the check, the end of the dining experience and somebody says, hey, we wanna split the check, but we only wanna pay for what we ordered. So right down here, we just hit one button you can select it into separating the orders or you can separate it into checks. All right, now we have four different checks for four different guests. So guest one pays for what they ordered, guest two, guest three, and guest four. Now at this point, maybe uh, somebody says, or check one says, you know what, I I I'm gonna leave, uh, but everybody else is gonna stay here. So we just go ahead and uh, I'll unclick that. And now these two, three, and four checks, we're gonna go ahead and combine those. Now they're back on one check and down here, Let's go ahead and uh, apply a cash payment to check one. And now we have check two, still live and ready to go. All right, now if I wanted to apply a credit card where I was talking about attach a credit card, I could just hit this and it's going, to, uh, it's going to go ahead and apply that payment to that check. I also have my third party delivery where we, you know, we can track on our POS. If you have your tablets and you like them, fine. Keep them the way you do. However, I, I have not talked to a restaurateur uh, ever <laughs> that really likes those tablets. So essentially what you do now, uh, you take those tablets, you put them in your back office. The only reason you'll need them is to really kind of update a menu item or 86 something. I'm going to go ahead and complete this transaction. And now at this point, say, you know what, somebody says, you know what, well, let's divide the balance. We're going to split it between two people. You can easily do that as well. It's going to do all the math for me. All right. And now we have 6160 for the first guest, apply a payment and 61.59 for the second payment. And at this point, you can see the amount tendered. Uh, this can be enlarged or actually reduced or even not shown if you want. All right, we can go straight to reopen that order if we want, go back to our list orders, or just go straight to a new order. And here we are back at our main screen. All right, here we are in the back of the house. This is basically your administrative portal. Uh, beautiful thing about our system is you can re work remote uh, on your system. Uh, you don't necessarily need a, a secondary business uh, office computer. Uh, all you really need is a, a laptop uh, and you from your home or from your office, and you can get into any of this back of the house, uh, changing menu items, um, onboarding employees, creating discounts, you name it. So anything you're going to do back here is essentially going to affect the front of the house. All right, so this is going to be where you're uh, going to onboard your employees. Go ahead and put your information in here. Actually, if you give your uh, sales partner um, a, an entire list of your employees, uh, we can go ahead and onboard them for you. So your name of your employees, their position, and then also their pay, uh, their pay rate hourly. I'll get out of that. And now let's go ahead and get into our job positions. Uh, what I love about this system is it, there's basically, a, there's a line item for every single thing that you're going to do in the course of a day. So in order to uh, allow it, you just basically check a box and it, to not allow it, you uncheck the box. So you can really lock down the POS as much as you choose or really open it up as much as you choose. It's, it's up to the merchant. All right, so for instance, a busser, uh, we're just gonna let them clock in, clock out. They're not responsible for cash or credit cards or transferring or voids, none of that. Down here, we have our manager. Say this is our senior manager, okay? So we're basically gonna go down the list here and check every single box. All right, we also integrate with scheduling software. So essentially somebody like uh, Hot Schedules or Home Base or even Compete, uh, you place your schedule, create your schedule online, and then that software will communicate with our POS and our POS understands now uh, your schedule for your employees. So essentially Bob shows up on, on Monday, Bob's not supposed to work. So we can prevent that from happening. We also can prevent that clocking in extremely early. All right, let's go ahead and get into, um, let me show you our pricing events. 
Price events are fantastic. Essentially, it's an event. Uh, you can have as many of these going at the same time uh, or put in as many of these as you want. Very easy to add, you just hit the plus sign and very easy to take away, you hit the minus sign. All right, I have my happy hour going here. Uh, down here, it's, uh, it's enabled. If you wanted to disable it, go for it. Down here, it's for a dine-in only. And now we have a scheduling tool built into our system. And so uh, for this particular event, if you wanted to have a start date and a start uh, ending, or just keep it open-ended forever, you can come down here and just check your days that you want it available or just make it Monday through Friday. And now down here, we have our time schedule as well, three to six. Down here, you have all the, uh, the items that we're gonna allow uh, to be in this event. You could have menu groups and you could have menu specific items. Down here, our bottle beer choice, you can do it on a percent, a fixed, a level, or an amount. Up here, we have a different happy hour, maybe happy hour two. And essentially, it's maybe just Sunday and Saturday only, open-ended forever, right? Have as many as you want, go in at all times. Uh, go through your entire calendar, pick out Cinco de Mayo, uh, Mother's Day, whatever special event you may be talking about, go through your entire year and set it up and walk away. And essentially what happens is the POS recognizes when these events are enabled and will automatically update itself. All right, also discounts here. All right, so we have uh, a few different discount options here. Uh, we wanna track these and reporting. What type of discounts are we offering? So employee 50% off, essentially this is when your employee comes in on their night off and they wanna have a good time. So we can do a percent off, uh, we can do an amount off, we could do a pop-up amount or percent or even set price a price level, or even a, a set price. So several different ways you can do a discount. We can also have a minimum order amount and also a maximum discount amount. You know, say for instance, your, your server comes in, they, they uh, run up a tab for about $500, where are you gonna discount it 50% for 250? Maybe, maybe not, it's up to you, but we can actually set up a, a maximum on that, say maybe $100 maximum discount. We'll come down here, who can provide these discounts? And down here, we also have a scheduling tool built in as well. When are we gonna allow these discounts to take place? And then down here, we have our, uh, our groups that we're gonna allow to be discounted 50% off. Em employee uh, shift meal, essentially the same thing. Uh, we also have the, uh, the ability to move tables around after we build those tables for you. You're not set in stone with them. We actually can move them. We could, uh, we could rename them. We could uh, renumber them. We could change the size and even the shape. So you, if you have a private party, you wanna move all the tables over to the left and the other tables to the right, and then rename them for a particular server. We can easily do that to, uh, to any room uh, in the back of the house. I'm gonna show you one more thing here. I wanna show you how easy it is to change a menu item. All right, so I have my, uh, let's see, I have my gregarious uh, nature black ale here. So say I'm gonna have, a, a, have another beer that I'm adding to the menu. So ap after the name and the price, everything else pretty much stays the same. And so I don't have to re-put all this necessary information in. All I really gotta do is come down here and duplicate this item. Now you see it's gonna create a copy. And now at this point, I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna change the name. And then down here, let's come down and change our price. Maybe we're gonna make it uh, 1450. All right, here we are in the uh, spot on restaurant POS reporting site. Uh, this is by far the best in the business. I mean, I think this, out of everything that I've showed you, uh, depending on the merchant, this is, this is the meat and potatoes of, of, of what, we, uh, what we have here. It's, it's really, uh, we're gonna go and spend some time as a restaurant tour. Uh, and kind of peel back the layers of your business and kind of figure out how you're making money and how you're losing money so you can make those adjustments. All right, I, it's incredibly powerful, I'm incredibly robust. And again, remember we're cloud-based. So uh, I literally can come here from day one, you start using Spot On, you have the ability to go back to that date and pull up any customized report. All right, you can see I'm using one of our merchants in, uh, in the East Coast. They've got 11 locations in New York. They're doing $101,000 on one day, this day in March, 315. So in incredibly busy. But the reason why I wanna kind of highlight this is, uh, you know, they're using our POS. Uh, they're using our core platform to help them manage and grow their business. 
uh, review management, digital marketing, consumer analytics, and also customer engagement, uh, using that core platform to really help them be more successful. And then we also provide the merchant services for them. So the entire platform, they're operating with these 11 restaurants at this level and operating seamlessly. All right, so you can see as I scroll over these graphs, graphs all this data changes. Our labor costs, our labor over sales, Everybody has their percentage that they need to hit. Down here, we have our check average throughout the day and also our guest count throughout the day. Down here, we have our voids, looks like after each shift. And now here are our discounts. In the bottom right-hand corner, we have two mobile applications that you can download for your, for your cell phone. So you can see all of this reporting from your phone. You could be on a beach in Hawaii and see all of this in real time. All right, so uh, we've got every single report that everybody has, but we probably have about 20 to 25, maybe even 30 more than most. We've got 77 different reports for you to peel back those layers. All right, I'll just go ahead and show you a few of these. Uh, everybody's got the daily sales report, the DSR. All right, ours is very clean. You could, it's really easy to extract information. We've got all our net sales broken down into categories. You could also immediately get right into a void, open that up and figure out what your voids are, your actual, your discounts, and also your net sales. You can also see we have the top sellers for the day with total sales. Down here are top voiders. Over here are day part, lunch, dinner. If you had breakfast or brunch, we could, we could uh, identify sales in that time slot as well order types, our net cash, what's being deposited in our bank, our top discounters, and also our top employee sales. Down here, all our credit card payments, third-party integration, DoorDash, Grubhub, total payments as far as deposits, surcharges, taxes, you name it. Come down here, our paid in, paid out to the drawer, taxes, our gift card summary, and also our labor hours, labor costs, and percent of net sales. Now, all of these reports, we actually come up here, hit this little arrow, it's gonna drop open a, a, a sub window. We could print any report, we can email report, we could save as a PDF, we could create a subscription on a report, we could do a, a comparison report. Let me get into a different one here. Uh, now, uh, the PMIX report. Everybody has a PMIX report. We have more than just a PMIX report. We have a PMIX report. We have a PMIX by employee, PMIX by modifiers or with modifiers, and a PMIX with subtotals. All right, let me show you our standard PMIX. Now, at this point, you want to figure out what type of food did I serve. Now, look at all the data changes. Flip that back around. Do it one more time, and now we want to figure out what food we serve during lunch. All right down here, this would be where we open up our full list of all the food that we serve just during lunch. Quantity sold, net sales, average price, percent net sales, and percent category sales. Now, any of these reports, you can always drop into an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file. And we have an item search function on any of these reports, making it real easy for you to get to what you're looking for. Now, let me go ahead and flip this back around. And now let's get a little bit more information. So we want to figure out uh, food that was served all day and our number one seller, French fries. Come down over here, go ahead and open this up. And now we can really get into the, the, the real data as far as our number one selling item. All right, here's when it was sold throughout the entire day. Looks like we had a little dip here. So we can uh, discuss this in a bit. All right, our total sales our quantity, average price, total taxes, voids, and discounts. And then we have a full list of every employee and how many they sold. We have a list of our top 10 customers that purchased this item. All right, I'm gonna go to Lada. Now it looks like they've been here a number of two times. Their last visit was this day, and before that was 126.18. So remember cloud-based, we store all this information securely. So literally, if you've been here 40 times, we'd have 40 checks. Come over here, and now we also have the top 10 paired items with your number one seller. It looks like right here, they want a pina colada with french fries. 
I mean, who would? So at this point, what I love about this is this is the this is real data. This is information that your guests really created. All right, they've decided that they want French fries and pina colada. So now what I would do, uh, come up here, and now maybe this is when we run a little special, maybe a pricing event. You know they want it, so let's give it to them and drive some revenue at this time when you don't have a lot of sales. And then down here, an entire list of every single order that had French fries on it. And again, you could do that with your liquor, you could do that with your wine, you could do that with just regular non-alcoholic beverages. As much as you wanna dig into this, it's up to you. Now, let me show you another report here. Let's do a void report. Uh, void reports are necessary to evaluate because this is essentially where you're losing money. All right, they changed mine. That's okay. Right here, customers didn't like. Now, this is something that we can fix. We'll come down here, pull up a complete list. And now we have a full list of every single thing that the customers did not like. Now, if I see something that's repetitive over here, like the truffle mac and cheese, now we can at least identify it so we can fix it. So I, I, if I wanna to go to the manager or to the server and have a conversation, what do the guests say? Um, or just go straight to the chef. Let's have a discussion, let's do a tasting test. All right, maybe it's a little too salty or too sweet or you just had a bad batch of something. Uh, it, it's just not right. But at least we can zero in on it and so we can fix it and stop throwing gasoline on the fire. If it's a margarita that essentially is not made very well, then we can have a discussion with the bartender. Or if it's a flat beer, we'll call our technician to get the lines cleaned. Down here, we can also, as I said before, we can use the POS for payroll. Drop it into a CSV file, Excel spreadsheet, use whatever accounting software you potentially use. Uh, we also have a partnership or an integration with Gusto Payroll. Fantastic, $39 a month and $6 an employee. It does all payroll for you. Take this off your plate. You're too busy as a restaurateur, right? So they send out your paychecks. They calculate all your deductions. They do everything payroll. Also send out W-2 and report tax information to your state. If you ever wanted to come down here and maybe you had to adjust the time clock, uh, very easy to do. Again, let's use our, our, uh, our search function here. I'm trying to zero in on what employee I'm looking for. Let's just put in Jose. Jose was the busser. Come right over here. We can go ahead and adjust. Do a little time punch edit here. Uh, they really came in at a different time. We'll go ahead and save that. And now we're good to go. Very easy to update your uh, time clocks. Let's get into payroll summary. Overtime, can't have it. Restaurants, oof, I, I was taught early in my career that overtime is just one thing that you just can't have in a restaurant. But we can easily identify it right here over time. Got 11 hours. All right, now over here, I, I see who my offenders are, line cooks. And now down here, I know exactly who I'm paying a little bit too much. And now what I always say is I'd rather schedule another person on, get the job done twice as fast, and not pay that one person twice as long, time and a half. Flip that back around. Now let's get into this. I love this. Credit card transactions. How many times in the course of a day was I called? I usually save them up, get about five or six of them ready to go. With another system, it, it, you know, it, it could take an hour to do five of these. Uh, with our system, we've got a, an item search function right here. 852, uh, I just put an 852, it's gonna pull up every single credit card that was ran uh, on this day in March that fast. Very easy to find this because there's only one. Go ahead and find my order. And now you can see exactly when they came in, when they left, where they sat, who the server was, how many guests they had and how long they were here. Now I'll go ahead and pull up that receipt. This is the receipt they received that night. Go ahead and print it up if my guest came in live or just go ahead and come to an email because we have an email server built in. So I can email you, your business partner, uh, your accountant, your lawyer, you name it, all in one shot, all right? I literally could do probably 15 of these in a minute where before it took me uh, an hour to do five. Uh, we also do, uh, we can track cash payments as well. So, and now we can uh, easily zero in on exactly what, maybe what the employee that served them, the day part, maybe the amount of money and go ahead and do the, uh, the same thing, print it up or go ahead and email straight from here. We also have enterprise reporting. This is fantastic. I could have as many businesses as I choose. 
and I can see the health of all of them from one site. I don't have to go to one building, to another location, to another location to extract reports. I can see all of it from one site. Let me go ahead and pull up all of these here. All right, got our 11 locations. You see our top performers all the way down. You see our top labor costs all the way down and our top labor percent all the way across the board. And now down here, we have all our daily sales reports. Uh, very easy to open up and it brings us our daily sales recap for that location. Come back over here. We also have an enterprise void report. So across the board, is there a recipe that we have an issue with? Um, you can easily zero in on exactly what that is. Maybe something's not selling at one location and it is at another. Very easy to identify. All right, we've got our, um, all our different locations. Here's our void reasons, all our top voiders and the quantity. And down here, here's all our reasons for voids, comps, spills, you name it. Open that up. And now we have all our information on duplicate orders at three locations. Let's go to East Village. We only have two. And again, also we have a, uh, the enterprise P mix. We have an enterprise flash report and also an enterprise discount summary. All right, let me show you this real quick here. I have a, a sales contest. Uh, I love this. Um, you know, you pick the number one thing in your business that you make the most money on. Let's create a contest. All right, so over here, we're going to pick our, our employees that are involved and now our day parts involved and our item categories. So top wine sales, or let's do a specific wine. Uh, we can also do a POS analytics if you want to see how many times people are going in and out of your drawer with a no sale, order transfers, removed order items, avoided order items, authorization requests, and also cash deposits. So you can see I could go on for days here, 77 reports for you to uh, pull, just pull back those layers. We have an alert system set up, all right? We've got 13 different alerts for you to be really hands-on or in the know about your restaurant. So 13 to choose from, our void report I'd like to choose. We're gonna go ahead and set our parameter up. Anything over $114, it's gonna go ahead and automatically alert me and everybody else I choose to have on this email and also your push notification. We also have a mobile application that you can download for your phone. It's a business manager app. So if you ever got a comp, a spill, maybe a void or a transfer, uh, it's gonna alert you on your phone. And so say you went to the store and this, uh, this comp spill void comes across and you, you can either authorize it or decline it straight from your phone. We also have something called subscriptions. These subscriptions are fantastic. Out of all the 77 reports that I showed you over here, at least a few of them, you pick the custom bundle of reports that you choose. Whatever, whatever those are that are gonna help you run your business. All right, put them all together. Got our daily sales recap, effective this date. Go ahead and highlight on every day that you want them sent to you. And now at the end of the business day, when I end my, my cl close of day uh, report, it's going to automatically compile all of those reports or specific reports and send them right to you like a, like a newspaper hitting your driveway. So essentially that is the end of the demo. You can see obviously our POS is best in class. We're going to meet or beat any, anybody's rates. We don't have contracts, total transparency, no hidden fees, junk fees. So thank you very much, everybody, uh, today for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, informative and uh, you can obviously see uh, how uh, amazing our POS system is. So looking forward to speaking with uh, each of you at any time. You can go to spoton.com for any additional information.